All right, guys, I am super excited. Guess what just came in? My doorbell legitimately just rang. And normally I would have made my bed when I knew I was filming and maybe yeah, throwing on a pair of pants. But I wasn't expecting it today. It was actually supposed to come in Monday. Today is Thursday. So it was definitely delayed. And when it didn't show up on Monday, they didn't update the tracking information. It didn't have a new date. It just said delayed, shipment delayed, blah, blah. So I didn't expect it today. So when the doorbell rang, I wasn't 100% sure what it was. I just knew it was definitely a package because no one comes over. And even when they do, they text. That's the new generation for you. So then when the doorbell rings, I know it's a package. And then I passed my window on my way out and I saw the FedEx truck. So yes, I'm in my pajamas. My friend Ross and Rachel, you are my lobster shirt from um, Walmart. And I'm in my cute little coffee themed pajama pants. Don't mind me. So I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. I have no idea what's in this box. Obviously it's FabFitFun. But is it my full box is it my add-ons is it both last time they did come together but this time i got a lot more add-ons well i spent about the same amount of money but the add-ons are bigger like last time i got add-ons it was mostly skincare makeup which doesn't take up a lot of room um i don't definitely don't need skincare i definitely don't need makeup i wasn't even going to really participate in the add-on sale but they had a lot of cute home stuff and if you guys have watched any of my videos you know that i just moved to this apartment in january and i am like almost done decorating and i saw a few cute things and i was like oh my god i gotta buy so i'm not gonna say i didn't get any skincare if that's what's in here you guys will see i spent close to 300 dollars. i think it was like 270 and then when tax came up to 290 something um i would say maybe 80 90 bucks was skincare the rest was definitely like home decor kind of stuff so let's so i feel like if my add-ons are in here it can't all be in this box or they ship it really well. I don't know. We'll find out together. So I just opened it, but obviously it has the cardboard. So let's see if it's if it's both. I'm probably gonna separate it into two different videos. Oh, okay. What is this? I don't remember ordering this. All right. So there's definitely both in here. These are the add-ons. This is my fall box. So I am just going to pull out the full box and we will do that first because I am dying to see what's in here. And then I will do a separate video for the add-ons. So definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to see what I got in my add-ons. I'm even wondering if I got a free gift or is this supposed to be in here? I don't know. We'll find out because I do not remember. That thing says oil diffuser. I honestly don't remember ordering the oil diffuser. But who knows? It's been a while. So anyway. Fat Fit Fun, I heard this season they were going to do a new, like, um, this is like a recycled cardboard kind of thing. So I really appreciate that. If you guys know, I really do um, try to make less of a footprint on this world. I have switched to a lot of reusable things. Uh, my silicone lid covers from Causebox, I've been obsessed with. I have tons of stuff in my Causebox marketplace right now um, that are all, like, reusable things. I use reusable sandwich bags. Um, I don't really use sponges. I use more dish brushes, which last a lot longer and they're better for you anyway. So just seeing that FabFitFun made that switch and it did not change how cute the box is. Honestly, I love the floral and the pomegranates. And even though when I think floral, I think spring, this one definitely has like a fall vibe because it's the lot, a lot darker colors. It's not like the fluorescent spring colors you think of. You have a lot of like navies and dark maroons and you have the little like pumpkins and squash and stuff like that. So very, very cute. So let's see what's inside. So, oh, so just so you guys know, I switched to annual. Um, I was a, I think it's called select membership. Oh, even the inside is so beautiful where you get it all. Uh, you get charged quarterly four times a year, the $49.99. So that's why I did get my box earlier and I was able to customize the last two options. So I was really excited for that. I just finally took the plunge. It was worth it for me. Um, I know I love the subscription box. I've had it for well over a year. This is already my second fall box with them. So fall, summer was my first repeat, not repeat, but like first, second version. So I'm already going into my second year with FabFitFun. So this is the FabFitFun magazine. This will explain all the products inside the box. 
and this was also made out of recycled so you can tell it's not that usual glossy look but that does not bother me whatsoever to know it is saving the environment not saving the environment but like preserving it it's definitely well worth it and then of course it comes with the usual coupon so this has a coupon for bright sellers um gather the good it's 15 oh it says i'm gifting you 15 off your fat first fab fit fun box but if i'm getting this obviously i already have fab fit fun so i guess it's for me to give to somebody else but the picture on the back is super cute pass this on to a friend yes who would love fab fit fun okay and then i have maybe i'll include the link down below for you guys because you guys can still get the fall box if you're interested and it would take 15 off so that would your box would go down to 34.99 that is actually really good because usually it's only ten dollars off i believe usually your first box is 39.99 and then afterwards it's 49.99 but honestly if you guys think you're really gonna enjoy fab fit fun it's worth just getting the annual i know personally i did it myself um it pays it in one shot, so I don't have to worry about being billed again for a whole year, and I'm able to pick all five options instead of three. That is the main difference with FabFitFun, um, the subscriptions. So if you are a select member, you get charged quarterly the $49.99 four times a year at when the box ships, and you are only able to pick the first three customized options if you are if you become an annual you do get a discount so i only paid 180 for the year so that's five dollars off each box i saved 20 dollars overall and i am able to pick the first five options there is always seven products with seven to eight products with fab fit fun they always pick the last few no one gets to pick those and then as always usually there's always a meal prep um kit in here it's not a prep because it's it's you fully cook it um it's not when i think meal prep i think the ones you just heat up but you know what i'm trying to say one of those like food kits uh i've seen green fresh and they usually do have hello fun i mean hello fresh so this one wow this is the best i've ever seen 10 free meals it's usually the most i've ever seen is like six seven or eight so i have been considering hello fresh i do have like one cookie video up on this channel i actually have a few i haven't edited yet keeping as backup if i ever don't you know i'm not always gonna have a box to show you guys i just uh just like to have material just in case um i have been thinking about doing more cooking videos cooking is something i do enjoy so i have been considering hello fresh uh, i've been out of work due to covid so i'm waiting to see what's gonna happen with the school year and if i feel confident enough that i have a job and it's steady I may consider it. so that's the only reason why i haven't done it yet all right so i kind of do i want to just grab random or should i try to be a little more organized i'm going to try to be a little more organized so i will show you what you could have gotten as your first choice so i know i picked the backpack which is right here i am super excited for it um, I'm probably gonna botch the name brand, so do not mind me. But the name brand, it, and I'm sorry, it's so hot, guys. If you guys can hear the fan, um, it is the Bot Bot Ah oh, Botkier Botkier New York Trigger Backpack. It's B O T K I E R, and it is the mini one. And it says this multifunctional backpack holds all the essentials in style, and it retails for a hundred dollars. So just right there is this value is double the worth of the box i paid 180 for the year so just in this one product i almost paid for a whole year's worth of products like insane that's why i love subscription boxes especially fab fit fun so this is the backpack right here i definitely have a thing for backpacks i have a huge collection of backpacks so when i saw this i knew it was my first choice um it does have vegan leather accents the handle is vegan leather vegan leather vegan leather i'm so excited guys i'm so sorry i'm tripping over my words you can see why i do, I do two separate videos because i'm on the first item and i'm already 10 minutes in um the flap is leather the pulls for the zipper are leather but the base itself is like a nylon so it is very versatile and functional and this is the inside it like i said it is a mini backpack i knew that when i ordered it so there's no surprises but there is like a zipper right here so um, I have a backpack. I do work at a school. I do bring the backpack to school to carry my goods. So this obviously won't be like for work. This is too small for that. But just like a cute night out, errands, whatever. This is the straps. If you kiss and it does have the name brand right on there. The little tag right there. And I love that I can just grab it by this handle quickly if I need to. I have a few backpacks that have this option. And I honestly do grab it a lot by this handle. So 
excited for that and then the other options i will show you guys what else i could have gotten and i did do i added on items and it's not in here so maybe it's in the big box because that is another option so let's say you looking at a category and you want two items in that category they give you the option to buy the second option for a lot cheaper um, if you are select, you almost never have that option because annual members get to choose first. So that's why I got my box a lot early. If you look at my other videos, I do not receive the box till weeks later. But annual members receive get to make their choices first and their boxes ship first. So because we get to make our choices first, there is more... Um, stock obviously of the items so i i can do like extra add-ons where when you're select so that option isn't available i don't know if that's when i first got fab fit fun i actually was able to add a few things and now it seems almost impossible so i don't know if they're just more people are signing up and doing add-ons or if they're even just removing that option for select memberships i don't know so that is also another perk just so you guys know right now so the other options for customization one are all on this page so, and then the ones I got the extra of was these jars right here because I was obsessed with them. So, uh, you could have gotten the tote in that same name brand. Uh, it was valued at $128 and it says it's a spacious carry all to hold your laptop, make a bag and more without weighing you down. But I actually just bought a laptop tote from Walmart that I absolutely loved. I even got the matching iPad case and all that. I'm going to do a whole nother video on that. So, like I said, definitely subscribe hit the notification bell if these are videos you guys are interested in so even though the tote had a higher value i'm like i already have one i don't need another one and i honestly really like backpacks so even if i hadn't had that tote i was probably gonna get the backpack but that is it right there just so you can get an idea of it. and it's the same thing it's nylon but it does have like leather accents and then the other option like i said was the backpack the third option was the fox bay rose gold uh curling wand right here i have so many curling wands so i definitely need that that was valued at 99 dollars uh, then it was the Stella Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. So it is a two set. It's not just one item. It's the eyeliner and the mascara. And it was valued at $45. Like I said, I have tons of makeup. So that definitely... I was even considering canceling FabFitFun because I have so much makeup. I have so much skincare. Uh, so I told myself, wait for the fall spoilers. And if it's a lot of makeup, if it's a lot of skincare, cancel it. And if it's not, keep it. I was really happy to see that there, it wasn't all makeup. It wasn't all skincare. There was tons of different options. So if you are someone who, I mean, I love makeup, but I just have so much. And I just made an order on BH Cosmetics. I have issues. But anyway, if it was just a huge sale, I couldn't pass it up. But And there'll be a video for that too. But if you're um, into Stella products or you, you don't want to, you don't like the price tag this gives you an option to add it to your box so that was the other option and then the the ones i did the add-on for is the uncommon james set of two copper canisters um it's valued at 49 dollars. my add-on price was 15 so i'm definitely very happy about that they have like a cute wooden lid those are the only part that's not Mach uh, machine washable oh my god guys that is the only option that is not dishwasher safe so you have to wash the lids by hand but the canner stuff is dishwasher safe i don't have a dishwasher that doesn't matter to me but i'm just throwing that out there for you guys i am the dishwasher well me and my boyfriend are the dishwasher here <laughs> my sink is so full right now and i was literally going to wash the dishes no word of a lie guys when the doorbell ring and i was like yeah see they don't want me to wash the dishes um so and then the other option was the styling and finishing cream by i'm going to pronounce the brand i really really apologize because i know this is definitely going to come out wrong you guys see that i'm not even going to try to say that honestly because i just don't want to offend the company or anybody by totally bo botching that pronunciation i am 100 portuguese i speak the language and i have trouble pronouncing some portuguese words never mind words that are totally out there anyway um i'm wondering if this is like a japanese brand because honestly that that's really hard to say but it is a styling cream and finish cream so it's a double set and it's 65 dollars. i have tons of hair care products as well i literally just did a whole sephora haul if you guys want to see on hair care products so i definitely didn't need that and then last but not least and this was another thing i was considering now that i think about it, i should have seen how much the add-on was i totally missed out um 
It was the Maya Melange foldable cotton basket. Their value is $60. So it is a cotton yarn rope. I don't know if it's like handmade. I don't know if it's like made in a... I don't know how to explain myself because I find that $60 price to be kind of crazy. Um, I've bought in really cute woven baskets like this at TJ Maxx at Marshalls for like way cheaper, like 15, 20 bucks. So I told myself definitely not getting that, but I could have seen how much the add-on was and done it because it is really, really cute. You can use it for storage, for a planter, but to make it as my main item, I wasn't really interested. Not like I said, I could see if it was handmade, you know, that's one thing, but anyway so i will look to see if the canisters are in my other box after so option two was either the and this was the two things i was debating between this is the one i decided not to get but it was the beyond yoga hidden pocket infinity scarf and it is valued at 60 dollars. sounds kind of expensive but it's more than just a scarf it, it and it's really long you can wrap it around two times or just have a really long scarf and even show people putting it up on their face to kind of use it as a face mask and it has a hidden pocket so that's really good about it if you want to just go for a walk in the fall you don't have to carry your bag or anything that pocket is big enough to hold your phone your wallet your lip balm anything like that and i know one of my favorite youtubers everything proof beauty she says how how much she loves the beyond yoga brand i've never gotten anything by them um so that was something i was considering but um i ended up going with the gloss medics hair removal device it says it instantly and painlessly sweeps away unwanted hair from your body and it was at the same price point it was 60 dollars. so this is it right here and i will show it to you guys let me just tell you what else you could have gotten the next option was the dr dennis gross skincare pore perfecting and refining serum like i said plenty of skincare but it's valued at 65 then the next option was the soya and kayo c-o-i-a and k-y-o woven scarfigan with fringe it's called a scarfigan because it's a cross between a scarf and a cardigan it is very big that just shows it like kind of folded up but it basically it doesn't have arms because there's no armholes but it, it kind of flows to the front and then it does have like a whole back piece and then it's just kind of open on the sides um i have an something actually like that to be honest with you guys, I actually got it as a Christmas gift a few years back. I actually really love it. I wear it all the time. People have been saying it's really soft. I tend to say anything that's like clothing based because they've had other kimonos. And I've actually received one of my first summer boxes. I wasn't able to choose that. It wasn't like the last customization options. And it was too small for me. I'm definitely not a one size fits all kind of person. I mean, you guys just saw me standing up. Um, I'm a size 28. So I feel like that probably would have fit me because it doesn't have the armholes. It doesn't cinch on the sides. It's all open. But just to be on the safe side, it wasn't what I went for. And that is valued at $85. Then it was the Volition Beauty Beauty Celery Green Cream. It's an oil-free moisturizer. It says it helps with fine lines, wrinkles, and to even skin tone. That is that right there. And I actually have seen it in like photos where it's legit green inside. Um, like I said, plenty of skincare, so I didn't want that. That's valued at $55. Then the next... You so during editing, I realized that I missed a product in customization too. I am including a photo of it here. It's the Arno Laszlo um, pink clay mask. I actually really liked it. I received this. I forgot it was in the spring or summer of 2019 box. So this is one of their throwback items that they've been offering. And I did really enjoy it, but not enough that I would get it again. There was other things in this customization option that I wanted more um and plus like i said i have plenty of skincare that i but i like that fab fit fun is doing this throwback option and next i'm going to show you guys the beginning of customization three the next option the next two options are by the same brand they're both by jenny bird but one is the austin cuff and the other one is the leanne pendant so this is the cuff it has like a mixed metal it has gold silver and bronze and this is the pendant it is very very pretty um but i have plenty of bracelets plenty of necklaces i actually just signed from signed up for mint goose which is like a jewelry subscription company i'm probably only going to get it for a few months and then i believe you can put a hold if not i'm going to cancel it just because i don't need an overflow of jewelry but i really wanted to try it the pieces look really cute um I was really liking the bracelet i like the mixed metal honestly i really like the necklace but i have other like dangle pendants like that the value on them 
I feel is overblown. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The cuff is valued at $135 and the pendant is valued at $115. I did consider doing an add-on for the pendant. I believe it was $10 or $15 with the add-on, which to me would be the retail price. Um, it wasn't going to be for me. It was going to be for my mom. But she was like, oh, no, I have so many necklaces. Don't worry about it. To me, it's not worth the hundred something dollars because it's not real gold. It's not. I are they even sterling silver? I think they're sterling silver plated, if I remember correctly. I was even like, that's basically a hunk of metal. Like, no offense. They are beautiful, and for the add-on price for fifteen dollars, I would have scooped both of them up. But to say that the value is one hundred and thirty-five and one hundred and fifteen dollars, I find ridiculous so that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way and even though i wasn't even leaning towards them that definitely knocked them off my list and then so um then another option option three was the vitamin multivitamin mask sets they are valued at 40 dollars. that is what i got and it came with a decent amount of mask it comes with five okay so i would never pay 45 dollars for five masks you're looking at the girl that buys like dollar tree mask you guys know that i show you guys that in dollar tree holds or even i'll go to like a tj maxx and a marshall's and i'll get a bundle box like this but definitely not for that price but honestly there was nothing in this category that really jumped out at me it was like i said it was just that cuff that pendant which i didn't really want after the masks it was the light blocking glasses i have legit glasses so as much as i would like light blocking glasses because i do go on my computer a lot i do go on my phone and tablet a lot especially now with quarantine especially now with me doing youtube but i can't wear those because i won't be able to see so it definitely wasn't an option for me definitely a good option for people that don't wear subscription sunglasses and it was valued at 45 dollars. if i didn't wear subscription sunglasses that would have been what i picked and then the last option was the Beauty Bakery Proof proof in the Pudding Palette. You guys know I love Beauty Bakery. I brought several Beauty Bakery products in my, was it the add-on or the edit sale? One of those sales. I have the videos up for the summer. Um, I only didn't get this one because it was very neutral and I'm more into colorful colors. If you see the ones I got, one of them had like tons of different like berries, like different purples and pinks and blues. So just I knew I wouldn't get good use out of that palette. And this is actually a throwback product. FabFitFun has been doing throwback products. This was before I signed up for FabFitFun. I believe this was either in the summer or spring of 2019. Like I said, I signed up for fall 2019. So I remember because I had a friend who did FabFitFun and I remember her, she, I think she got it and gave it to her nieces because she was never like a big makeup person. Um, and I've seen from other videos and um, people receiving that palette. So if you do sign up for FabFitFun, they do promise you do not get repeat products. It memorizes the items you receive. So let's say I did sign up back in spring or summer and I received that palette. I would not have got it this time even if unless i picked it if i pick it they're gonna give it to me obviously but like let's say you hit the surprise me option because there is an option i didn't even say that there's an option the character can hit surprise me so let's say you don't really like any of them you don't care which one you get or you um you like all of them and you can't decide or whatever you can't hit surprise me they will not surprise you with that one because they know from your history that you've already received it so that was it for option three i showed you what i picked which was the mask, but I skipped over option two. So like I told you guys, I did go with the gloss, gloss medics hair removal device. I'm honestly really excited to try this. It says it's for all skin types, all body parts, and there's a cleaning brush included. And from what I've seen in other people's boxes, I believe they even include the battery because um, people, annual members have already been getting their boxes. So I've already seen a few videos and they always send out the PR boxes like weeks ahead. So I did see people receive this in PR. So yeah, as you guys can see, it does come with a battery. And I really like the, like the bronze accents of it. So let me show you guys just the head of it. And it does say it's painless. So I am definitely, definitely, definitely curious to try this out. It was definitely like my first. Yeah, oh my God, there's like nothing there. I was like, am I going to cut myself? Nope. So definitely curious to try this out. So that was definitely when I saw option two. Like I said, it was the big between that and the scarf for a little bit. But I was like, nah, I'm going to get more use out of that. I have so many scarves too. It was just like kind of cool that I had a pocket. It was different. And then 
Okay. So, I showed you guys customization one, two, and three. So, now customization four was the Mason Top glass water bottle with a neoprene in turquoise. And that is exactly what I picked. I will open this up and show it to you guys. The other options was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, which is this right here. I know people were really excited to see this in the box. People were like, oh my God, I'm picking that. I know Anastasia Beverly Hills is known for her eyebrow products, and I know it's a pricey brand. If you guys have seen any of my past videos, I think even, was it in my fall box? Yeah, I got an eyebrow pencil by, I think it was Winky Lux. I gave it away. I don't do anything with my eyebrows. I feel like, not trying to brag, but I feel like I have very, like, this is unplucked. I mean, you guys aren't seeing a close-up. There is definitely, like, some hairs underneath that can clean it up. But I feel like I have a very natural arch. I have, um... And I feel like it's naturally filled in. I don't get thin and wispy because I know some people like they get thinner as they get to the tail. Um, I mean, of course, there's always improvement. Maybe I could fill in the front a little bit more, but I don't feel it's worth it enough to add it to my makeup routine. Um, so this one is just kind of a clear brow uh, gel. I think it's more, it says set the shape and color of your brows with this lightweight gel. So yeah, it's supposed to just kind of like flatten it down. So if, let's say I had stayed non-annual and select and I, because this is already an option you guys cannot choose and I got it. Like I said, you can always give it away. It's well worth it even for the, if even if you only like one or two products out of the box, you're paying already. Like that's already the payment of the box. Or that actually wouldn't be a bad idea for maybe like uh, flyaways and stuff like that. So I still would have been happy with that. I actually did like a whole like, customization video and i mentioned like what was going to be my first second third choices um and then the next thing was the skin and co roma truffle therapy whipped cleansing cream valued at 28 again i have tons of skincare so didn't even think about it although i'm saying that and i did get an add-on so i'm believing my add-ons must be in that box they're not in here because that's not in here either but it's just because it was fall themed and i was like oh it's fall gotta get it um it was the feel beauty renewed pumpkin walnut facial cleanser um it says the pumpkin infuses the skin with ahas or is that supposed to be ahas i don't know zinc and vitamin a and c and the walnut powder gently exfoliates to reveal a fresh glow depending on how much the add-on was i was like ah, eh, we'll see if i get it i clicked it, it was only seven so i added it to the box and then the other option was the frank body original coffee scrub which is this right here which i recently found out you can actually get at target so to me i would rather get brands that i can't get in my supermarket like that's not a super well that's food but if i go to target like not on a daily but weekly monthly whatever like i can easily go to target and buy that for myself so and then i had also heard that it's like really messy that it does have good benefits coffee scrubs really does i've heard caffeine is really good for your skin it helps plump up the skin it helps with cellulite and things like that but i've heard that uh you know they're really messy and that you're better getting uh you're better off getting like a whipped one or one that comes with like a coconut oil base versus just like ground coffee obviously this isn't just ground coffee there's other things mixed in it specifically says it has vitamin e sea salt and it does have almond oil but anything that comes in the bag is messier if it comes out of a tube and then you just squeeze it onto your hand and rub they say it's less messy that way so i decided against that one and was that okay so that was it for option four so i will show you what guys what i picked i'm really trying to drink more water so i thought this was really cute and i like that it was a glass bottle I'm trying to pull it out but it's kind of there you go so there you go you guys can see it says the mason top brand and then this shows you like how much wa water you're drinking and then this is it right here and it even comes it has this little thing here if you want to clip it onto your gym bag or purse or whatever and then you literally just flip it up i thought it was a button that you press uh, i was wrong and then that is the where you drink it from little mouthpiece and this one honestly had the highest retail value which i didn't even realize i don't just pick the things out of the highest retail value i want to get use out of my stuff but this one valued at 35 the brow gel valued at 22 the cleansing cream valued at 28 the facial cleanser valued at 28 so why wow, i got that for a really good discount and the coffee scrub at 17. so option five i logged on within a few hours i usually try, when i was select i logged on right away because i knew a lot of the items were already gone um this time i was like ah manual i don't have to stress out as much 
I was going to pick two things in option five. I was going to pay the little extra for the add-on because they had a hip cutlery set. And it says swap your disposable utensils with this wheat straw cutlery set. It also comes in a cute carrying case. This was it right here. I thought this would be really cute to take on my lunchbox for work. It was valued at 15 and that's what I was going to do as a little add-on. I figured it would probably be like really cheap, like five, seven dollars. And already I was not allowed to do add-ons in that option. So see if I wasn't able to do that as a, as a annual member, can you imagine the select members or the quarterly members? I forget what they call them. I really should look that up. So I ended up, so I just could pick one thing and I went with, which this is crazy. Everything in here, it values for about 15, 18, 16. And then this one random item is valued at 75 um usually they try to go with the same price range in the customizations but and it just says give yourself a scalp massage to reveal dry and stressed out skin while calming the mind i do have plenty of hair care products but this is different i don't really have hair oils and they say this is really good for your scalp i do have dry skin so i wanted to try it out and it says it's 100 percent natural so i figured i'd give that a shot the other options was the ncla cuticle oil which I have cuticle oil, not that brand, but I do have it. And honestly, I bite my nails anyway. So it's like, how much is that worth it for me? And then the eight other reasons runway clip trio, which is this right here. Honestly, really cute, but I literally get my clips from like Dollar Tree and Target. That was valued at $32. I found that kind of crazy. And that's another thing I was considering doing a little add on because I knew these were going to be like cheaper. But some of the add ons I said, like I said, are 15. I figured these were all going to be in like the $7 range, like that walnut scrub, but I was already not able to do any add ons in this category. Um, because to make that my original, like my first choice, no, but to do it as an add on, I definitely would have got it. And then the last choice was a Harbor and Ari exfoliating sugar cube in juice cleanse, which is this right here. This is a throwback. I already have this. Um, I have used it. I really enjoy it. Um, it does last a while. One cube lasts multiple showers. So I still honestly have this. I forgot what what box this came in. Um, and I don't scrub every time I take a shower. So it, you do get a lot of value out of that. And if there was no, like if, if there was nothing else I really wanted, I definitely would have repurchased that. All right. So the last two options, Fab Fit Fun last three, I should say, Fab Fit Fun picks for you. So option six, there was three choices. It was the New York pedicure and a box duo pumpkin spice. I know that's what a lot of people wanted uh, right here. I think it's just cute because it goes with a fall theme, but, and you can do like a little pedicure from home. Um, I don't think that was my first choice because I honestly, I'm not that girly when it comes to my nails. Like I definitely like to do my hair. I definitely like to wear cute clothes. But when it comes to nails, I think just because I bite these nails, so I just don't think about nails. I don't even think about my toenails. Um, I think I've gotten a pedicure maybe twice or three times in my life, and it was for, like, prom, a wedding. Like, never, I never just go, like, monthly like people do. And, but that would have been nice to do a pedicure from home if I got it. But anyway, that was valued at $20. The next thing was the thing I really didn't want. I mentioned this in the customization book. It is the Laundress New York Crease Release Spray. It says it easily removes moderate wrinkles from clothing and fabrics, especially when ironing isn't an option. This is $16. The reason I said I didn't want this, I mean, I'm still going to use it, is my boyfriend loves to iron. I know that's kind of crazy. I think people don't believe me when I say that because I know people who hate ironing. And I am one of those people. So I am with you. I am with you 100,000%. I could probably count on one hand how many times I've ironed my clothes. Before him, I used to just wear the wrinkles and say, bleep it, if you know what I want to say. Uh, but because he loves to iron, it kind of works out. I'll be like, hey, babe, I want to wear this outfit. Can you iron that for me? And he'll be like, oh, hell yeah. And he'll he even bought like a name brand ironing board uh by bath and body Ugh, i'll say bath and body works oh my god bed bath and beyond um i had a coupon it was one of the things when we first moved in that he asked for and then he's even received an iron a name brand really good iron for christmas from his mom like that's how much his kid loves to iron so i definitely won't be getting as much use out of this but if there's a day he's not around and whatever he doesn't iron my clothes for me i have this option i know they say it um it smells really good so maybe i'll just spray it quickly just to smell it i'm kind of curious 
And of course I got that on my glasses. I always do this, especially because I have a fan right in my face as I'm spraying this. Yes, it does smell really good. So I got that. I saw that in a lot of uh, PR boxes. So I just had a feeling that's what I was going to end up getting. Uh, and then the last option, which is what definitely would have been my first choice. So I would have gone with, which I said this in the customization video, with the sponge gel, the pedicure in a box, and then the uh, crease release. But I love sponge gel. I did buy some and some add-ons, so it's fine that I didn't receive it, receive it. But it's basically a body wash infused like sponge. Uh, actually, over here it describes it as a body wash infused buffer because it does exfoliate at the same time. I love sponge gel so much. That's probably why I haven't used those exfoliating cubes as much. It's just so convenient. And then when it stops getting soapy, you know it's to throw it away. Um, I haven't used a regular like loofah in so long because I've been using those so much and it was in the sweet cedar wood scent uh, i have not seen a scent that i don't enjoy yet like they all are incredible and then uh option so customization seven again they picked this for us there was four options it was the tokyo perfect repair treatment mask okay i was looking to see if that's what i got no okay and um I mean, all this is extras to me. The first five customization opt-ins are always like, you know, you get to pick what you want. So I'm like, hell yeah. And if I, the rest is just like, what? You know, if I get what I want, I get what I want. If not, to me, it's like almost free goodies. So I have tons of hair stuff. So it's like, I would have been fine if I didn't get that. If I got it, I would have used it. Then it was two different room sprays by Stone Candles. I guess that's the name brand. And it was in Pumpkin Spice, which I know a lot of people wanted because of the you know the season coming up and then Suntel Nior which they said is a musky blend of sandalwood and cardamom which I got that so I knew I got the room spray I just wasn't sure the scent but I just saw it on here so let's smell it uh, I love room sprays I usually just get mine from Bath and Body Works so I will definitely use this and take advantage of it it says the body of the fragrance is an amber sandalwood complex enhanced by a light floral orchid accord the dry down of amber musk supports the fragrance of mango blossom and strawberries into a base of vanilla and musky notes so let's spray my room oh that smells so good and honestly i'm not like a huge pumpkin spice person i know everyone's like pumpkin spice um my favorite from starbucks which is seasonal but it's not pumpkin spice is the salted caramel oh love salt caramel soca caramelted mocha something not a huge starbucks person anyway but so um, i'm actually kind of glad i got this one over the pumpkin spice even though pumpkin spice is what everyone and their mother wanted and then the last this was my first choice and i said this in the customization it was the heath tranquility sleep mist i love sleep mist i always have one on my bedside table i spray down my sheets and pillowcases like every day and that one was a little bit different because you could even spray it on yourself so i liked the idea of that but my second choice was the room sprays so i got my second choice the hair mask i'm pretty sure was my last choice um but like i said if i got it i would have used it so the room sprays are actually the highest of value they're worth 36 dollars. i know the little one even the little ones from bath and body are 12 i never buy them full price i always wait till they're half off and this one is definitely bigger than the little bath and body sprays this is five fluid ounces i'm not even sure what the bath and body sprays are maybe two tops so this is definitely like triple the size uh, and those were valued at 36 the hair mask was valued at 16 and the heath tranquility sleep mask was valued at 22 so there was three options for customization eight and my first option is not the one i got but that's okay it was the beauty crop glow milk and blind date i do have tons of makeup stuff but it highlighters is one of my favorite things and i've heard such good things about the beauty crop but i don't have anything by them so i would have enjoyed that but i got i think this was my second choice it wasn't my last i honestly don't know um i like that they put it in a baggie at least so if it leaked there wasn't any issues but it is the shower gel just to me i can get shower gel so much cheaper this one's valued at 30 dollars. but the last thing i was like ah, if i get it i'll use it but i found it kind of strange it is this ziggy Mar maria's pouch with stripe i just find the shape really weird i feel like that is actually a sunglass case that they're trying to pass off as like a little clutch um, but I mean, I could have put my sunglasses in that, my real glasses in that. So maybe that was my second choice and this was my last. But I have heard really good things about the shower gel. I've heard that it smells amazing. 
Um, I want to see if it says what it smells like. No, it just says a blend of golden superfoods and ingredients. Pumpkin, oregon, apricot, orange, and aloe vera. It's an antioxidant shower gel. So I will definitely enjoy this. I will definitely use it. It will be in my shower. Um, it's just definitely like $30 for a small shower gel. This is like, eh, it's 10 ounces. It's actually not that bad. The bottle looks smaller, I guess. Uh, but it's vegan friendly and animal cruelty free. So this is like, this is something I would ever purchase for myself. But that's why I like subscription boxes. You get to try new things. So I will definitely indulge and enjoy my nice, luxurious shower gel when I take a shower next. And it says it's designed to uplift your senses and provide a source of antioxidants to leave your skin feeling super energized. Super charging ingredients. Oh, wow. Wow. I can see why this got good reviews. That smells amazing. So, Pumpkin Walnut Facial Cleanser that I paid the extra $7 for. I'm going to be really bummed if the jars aren't in that box. I'm not seeing it. That's why I really didn't think it was going to be... I, there must be another shipment. I'm going to have to check because, like I said, I ordered a lot of, like, home decor. And it's bigger. Like, I ordered a tray. I ordered olive oil and vinegar dispenser i ordered a teapot teacups yeah there's no way everything's in there so let's just hope that's coming in a separate box if you guys want to keep up with me and that definitely uh like i said subscribe hit the notification bell so there's definitely more fab fit fun content coming you guys know i've obviously i'm annual now so i have three more boxes coming my way for the other seasons obviously i mentioned cause box i just picked my full customization options yesterday really excited for that full box so i think cause box and fab fit fun are definitely up there for me but i also do have ipsy ice cream beauty um aia and i've a bombay and cedar just signed up for i've never received that before i cannot wait for that box as well there that one's a new quarterly subscription because it used to be monthly um and that's supposed to be a whole array of things it's like a lifestyle it's supposed to have because um obviously ipsy and um ice cream beauty is like just makeup so i like getting ones that are different i think that's why i love fab fit fine and cause box so much so if you're into subscription boxes definitely consider subscribing if you are into hauls definitely consider subscribing i do tons of hauls i have ton i have a decorate with me coming up i'm super excited for i decided decorating for the fall i got all my decorations from dollar tree so i have all those hauls i have one i have two up already and more coming um i always do hauls every time i go out shopping walmart target grocery stores whatever like i said i will have a decorate with me i'm gonna have some organization videos i'm gonna do an apartment tour so definitely lots of content coming your way so definitely consider subscribing if that is stuff you guys are into if you guys like fab fit fun if you enjoyed the video definitely give it a like comment below what would you have picked out of the categories what was your favorite item out of the box was there anything you definitely wouldn't have got for yourself definitely curious to see i love you guys's opinions i love talking to you guys i like having this little community um i always appreciate when you guys watch and support me that is all guys be safe